Good, how are you? Pretty well, thanks. Uh, I know you had very long, very successful runs the last couple of seasons, but I imagine your role with this team and how much you're playing is maybe a little different than what it was uh, the last couple of years. I mean, uh, how much are you enjoying this aspect of it, even though there's a lot of uncertainty of where you end up? Uh, are you talking personally, sir? Or the, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, no, it's been great, obviously. I mean, um, you know, playing in Tampa, I, I don't think it's it's much of an argument the past two years. It's, you know, we've probably had the best decor in the league and, and uh, a bit more of a, you know, played a different role there. Um, you know, when you got guys like Hedman and McDonough and Sergachev, uh, Chernak, guys like that, I mean, obviously those guys eat up you know, the bulk of the minutes and those are those are top defense in the league you're talking about. So, you know, you accept different roles and really, at, you know, my mindset was whatever whatever it takes to win um, in that environment. And, and uh, you know, I think that was that's how teams do win is when you got every guy buying in and, and everyone's got to play different roles. And obviously coming here, uh, you know, I've been given a little bit more of an opportunity, which is which is something that, uh, you know, I've, I've tried to work for the past few years. And and, um, you know, obviously, there's there's mistakes along the way and and there's areas to improve in and that's what I want to continue to do is is continue to get better and, and help this team and playing alongside Huggy for the most part it's been uh, a real good opportunity and, and I'm fortunate to get that opportunity. And Quinn has said although everyone is focused obviously on making the playoffs uh, this month that regardless of how it ends he thinks there's going to be a huge benefit for the team for next year. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I do. I mean, uh, obviously, you know, the way we started the year, I don't think a lot of people probably would have predicted we'd be played. We'd be playing, you know, meaningful hockey games on the stretch. I'm saying that, I, I don't think a lot of guys, you know, Huggy does make a good point as far as you know the experience. You, you can't teach experience; you got to go through it. But uh, I think uh, you know we'll start focusing on next year when that time comes. Right now, I think um, you know really it's task in hand and and uh, focusing one game at a time. Honestly, it's it's cliche, but. You know, you start getting ahead of yourselves and looking at, you know, even the last game of the season and seeing where you're at. I mean, um, you know, sometimes that could be, uh, I don't know where, where, where it is, not overwhelming, but just, uh, you know, sometimes you look too far into the future. It's not good for the present. So, I mean, um, yeah, I, I do think the experience will be will be beneficial for everyone in our group. But also, uh, you know, we're going to try to win games and, and uh, you know, focus on the task in hand. We have Patrick Johnston, Post Media. Just sort of on that note, Luke, how do you assess your own games when you, you know, after the game, what are the standards you look to for yourself to say, these are the things I did well, or these are the things I need to improve? Are there numbers? Is it an emotional thing? How do you assess your own gameplay from, from night to night? Uh, not, not numbers as far as uh, the score sheet's concerned. I mean, uh, you know, you'd probably be uh, shaking your head a lot of times if you're looking for the goals and the assists. But I mean, uh, no, the way I evaluate myself, honestly, is, is um, you know, if I move the puck well, um, and and uh, really at the end of the day, taking care of front of the net, winning my battles in the corner, and I I feel uh, you know adding an element where you know tough to play against in your own end and off the rush. So I think that's just my own personal standard, um, and you know I guess a strength is is uh, you know making sure it's you know uncomfortable at times for for teams to go in the corner with you or, or players to go in the corner in front of the net. I think that's just the biggest thing and. And on top of that, you want to help contribute to the penalty kill. And um, yeah, like I said, just uh, be tough to play against for, for the opposition.